Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Outback, here in our zoo, in Zoo Tycoon, the ultimate collection, where we are currently celebrating fantastic news! Whitney, the red kangaroo in Sunset on the Outback, is pregnant! So that means that Jasmine, our male albino kangaroo, is now a father! That is gonna be so exciting! Jasmine, is that you? Yeah, that's him! Pretty darn sure that's him. Oh yeah, that is Jasmine, our albino kangaroo, and he is now going to be a dad! Oh, thrilling, absolutely thrilling, and just in time too, because we do have a special- Oh, is he going back in? He's going back into the breeding area, you guys! I think we're about to hear the fact that another kangaroo is going to be expecting a baby any minute now. This is so thrilling. We do have a breeding program currently going on. The Zoo Association has started a new breeding program and has asked our zoo to participate. They asked us to have five babies, which will result in a surprise animal and 1,200 permanent fame points. So we are doing what we can to contribute to that. And we are also working on another major event on top of our Platypus River, of course with the Endangered Species Release Program. The Zoo Association has started a program to re release as many endangered animals into the wild as possible. So we need to try to release five endangered animals into the wild. <gasps> Look, another female is coming out. Another female has come out. Is that Whitney? Or is that gonna be a new female? Hmm. That is... Not Pia, not Gigi. Okay, that might be Whitney. We may have just witnessed Whitney going back and becoming pregnant because we cannot we cannot see which giraffe that is. And there's our male coming on out now. So we might find out any second now that another kangaroo was pregnant, or that may have been Whitney, and that may have been Jasmine. Oh, this is so exciting. The families are growing in our zoo. All right, but we do have a lot to do, and we have been spending a lot of time with kangaroos, and there is a lot of other things that we should be working on adding to our zoo and breeding. So when it comes to endangered species, I would love to see what kind of endangered species we could possibly have here in this outback zoo. Can I see antelopes? So we can have the nya antelope, the agouti, uh, oh, the agouti is a rare sight and the guests will love it? Heck, we'll go ahead and do some research on the agouti then. We'll have to do that in a second. Um, the caimans? The black caiman. It doesn't say if it's in danger. Oh, lower risk. Okay, there we go. So this guy, least concern. Agouti, vulnerable but not endangered. Sun bear, vulnerable, not endangered. Caiman, low risk. Oh, the cockatoos, of course! All right, least concern, least concern, least concern, least concern. Okay, so all of our cockatoos are actually doing great, and we do need to build up a wonderful treetop paradise full of these fantastic cockatoos, since many of them are either native to Australia or, in the case, okay, we don't have umbrella, but we do have sulfur crusted, or in the case of animals like the umbrella cockatoo from nearby Australia. Uh, and I think most of these cockatoos, we can actually only, I think you add them. Yeah, the species specific to Australia. <gasps> they are all specific to Australia, so we won't be able to send the cockatoos to any other place if we don't have them here in this zoo. So you can rest assured we'll have those guys in just a second. The South Amer South Southern South American Puma, which is the one we can have here, specific to South America. Oh, huh. Well, that's interesting. I think that the the specific spots just tell you like where they're native to in real world in real life then because uh, we'll figure it out all right crocodiles freshwater crocodile specific to australia hmm and yet yeah it's kind of tricky to tell like but i can't have the other animals unless they are from another zoo so we can have the indian elephant who is actually endangered that would make me feel really good if we took care of indian elephants None of the falcons, and neither of the two giraffe types that we can have here uh, would be endangered. The jaguar is near threatened but not endangered. 
The kangaroos are at least concerned across the board. <gasps> a king quill! Oh, that's so cute. What about the koalas? Oh, koalas! I definitely want to add in more koalas. That'll be wonderful. The llama is not, the macaw is not, and we can only add in scarlet here. The magpie goose. Oh, I forgot how we have a couple geese. The brand new, like, vulnerable. Who is going to be endangered then? <gasps> the new mats! It's an endangered species of anteater found only in Australia in the bush groves. It's a rare sight in the area and guests will love it. We have our winner, friends! Step number one is going to be looking for the noom bats, I think. The platypus are near threatened but not listed as endangered here. I think that may have changed since the game came out, unfortunately. Sand monitors. Oh, there's so many animals we could add in. Let's do this right so we know which ones we need to add. Okay, chimpanzee. Are chimpanzee like one of the last animals? Oh, we can't have flamingos? Oh, <gasps> my heart. <laughs> okay, but new bats it is. <laughs> All right, we need that bush area. So we're gonna start putting down, I think maybe up here, a bunch of bushes. I wanted to give Sharon a larger lake so like Sharon could have a larger lake up here. I think that'd have to be a medium lake. Can I fit a medium lake in here? Let me wiggle it around. Hmm. Okay, we might have to have a small lake. <laughs> yes, I would have to have a small lake for Sharon. Sorry, Sharon. So small lake for Sharon, right here. Sharon's, uh, Sharon's Creek, we might say. Right there, right there. I'll just go ahead and upgrade it right away so I don't forget. And then this is after our first crocodile, Sharon's Creek. And one of the most, like, Sharon is a fantastic community member who's been around for a very long time. So it always tickles me when the random generator picks you, Sharon. And then over here, we're going to add in a mini exhibit for the bush grove. Where are those new bats? Yes! All right, let's get those new bats in here. Those will be some of our endangered animals that we try to raise to level 15. And as teensy tiny little new bats who only need, okay, and we'll call this bush grove. Ooh, we'll call this kind of little forest area. Let me go ahead and randomly pick a name. So we're gonna have, oh, Chiro. So we're gonna have Chiro's um, Creekside Forest. So Chiro's Creekside Cove, maybe? Hmm, yeah, let's go for it. So Chiro's Tre Creekside Cove, and it'll be as many of the new mat things as we can fit in around the lake. I think that would be adorable. All right, let's get the new mat. Come here, little new mat. You, you poor thing, are endangered. So we're going to go ahead, start some research. While the research goes on, I shall pull up another name. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Hmm. Have a sip of my tea. We should add in a nice little tea place where people could have tea somewhere nearby. Tea and giraffes, that sounds wonderful. Ah, there we are. The Noombat. <gasps> Only Jazzy is currently available. The Noombat is an endangered species of anteater only found in Australia. Let's add Jazzy in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you can only have like one at a time. You poor little creature. Like, let's get in. Jazzy. Oh, Jazzy wants some social needs filled. Oh, you're so small. You are so small. And we're gonna rename Jazzy to Quinn. So thank you, Small Comics and Gaming, for your very, oh yes, your fame increasing. For your very sweet comment, I am very happy to add you in. Can I get like up close, up close with the little one? Oh, look at the new mat. New mats are hard. <laughs> so like get a picture of a new mat is a very difficult thing. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna show that off. But we now have, here at Chiro's Creekside Cove, a tiny little endangered Noombat! <gasps> oh, your precious face! Oh, look at that Noombat! Do it again! Do it again! Oh! Okay, I'm in love. This is so cute. Alright, so we're working on adding in that endangered animal. Uh, but the elephants are also endangered and we can actually breed those. So let's come up to the large tropical area and prepare for elephants. So we can help out with this special in endangered program that they're working on. 
Uh, let's get some grass and leaves here. Let's edit the station. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it. Ooh, and while we're upgrading things... Oh, and we're not getting any new guests, so let's get another advertising session going. And should we increase admission? We might start increasing admission if we get really high up on that fame point stuff. Uh, let's make a... Uh, uh, Let's make a very high intensity TV show about our king, like our platypus lazy river. And then let's do maybe some internet research really quickly. And then we can send out some internet news about our new Noombats. All right, let's wiggle over here and continue to set up the area for let's see, animal care, build station, fruit for our elephants, because they're gonna need that too. Upgrade, upgrade. I just want it to be top of the line before they even get here. And then they're also going to need, I mean, a lot of food. But let's do the stone bird cleaning station. Upgrade, upgrade. So that's just ready to go. Let's pop over to the other side, do another fruit station. Upgrade, upgrade. And let's do, uh, yeah, the fruit, fruit, fruit. And then let's go ahead. Oh, yay, we can now run internet campaigns. So let's run a quick internet campaign so that we can get a lot of people here. And we're gonna do uh, ultra intensity new mat special and we'll add a little bit of viral to it. Wait, did I just cancel? Did I just cancel? No! I had no idea that you, you, okay, we spent, uh, we, had, we had some sort of terrible ad person steal most of our money just there. Also, what was that? Wolf spirit coffee need repaired? Got it. All right. There we go. Quinn the new bat is lonely. I want to get Quinn a new new bat. Do we have another? Do we have another new bat available? New bat, new bat. Yay! We have another new bat available. All right, we're we're working on the new bats, guys. That makes me happy. We have Quinn. <gasps> Yay! And Michael. And they'll now be able to play. But let's rename Michael to. There we go, Braystone. So there we are. There, Michael and Braystone. I'm so happy that you two, or Braystone and Quinn. I'm so happy that you two will be able to hang out down there together. Let's give you a tree really quickly. Just really quickly, cause oops. Cause I do have quite a bit to do like all over the place. It is busy, busy, busy around here, isn't it guys? Let's get you a nice big tree actually. Let's go for this big, big boy tree. There we go. Nice. And hopefully I can get a couple more. We'll make like a nice little decorated area in the future. Can I get another rock in here? That would be asking a lot. <laughs> can I get another small tree? Ooh, small tree with a big rock. I do like that. I actually want another one of those guys right over here. Nice. Can I get another big tree? Right there. Wonderful. What about like, uh, there we go. I love how your fame points just kind of sneak up as you add in trees. That makes me very happy. But I thought that would be very good around our little creek side for Sharon's new creek. Uh, hopefully Creekside Cove's going well. Uh-oh. Oh, apparently it's like filthy here now. And the animal variety is bad. I'm sorry, half our zoo is kangaroos. I'm doing my best, okay? That's just, that's what we have to work with. All right. Elephants, we need to make you happy now. What makes you happiest? Ooh, a waiting pool. Apparently we'll make them the happiest. So let's do the temple waiting pool for our elephants. Can I add in more? Building enrichment. Elephants also like activity centers. So we'll do the hodgepodge activity center. That'll be fun. So they like activity centers. And elephants also enjoy that waiting pool. So we'll build an activity center and a waiting pool. Hodgepodge. There we go. Excellent. All right. Hopefully that'll be good for our elephants. And let's add in some elephants. Well, should we add in? We'll add in Ellie's next time. Because <laughs> we have a lot going on. And I think if tidiness is the most critical thing, let's come up here. And we're going to sneak in a mini exhibit can't put anything can we get arid rock i think we could probably get can we get some savannah 
Ooh. Let's put Arid Rock down right here behind our bean burger station. And why am I doing this, you say? Because this Arid Rock we will populate later. But I want to put a janitor station up here next to the bean burgers. But I want to hide it a little bit. So we, we now have another squeaky clean HQ that we're going to hide next to this little mini exhibit. And you may be asking, how on earth is this hidden, Siri? Okay, we're gonna upgrade it just all the way immediately and hire some staff because this place is apparently filthy. Bernard, you're hired. And let's see, Kern, you're hired. We're also gonna train you. And hopefully that'll help. And our internet campaign has ended. Oh, there's so much to do, so much to do. But let's go ahead and hide where we have. <laughs> hide where the janitors are, boom. Because guests complain about those kinds of things. And, and boom, there we go. Nice. I love how our exhibit is just like all of our places are coming to life more and more the more we respond to the needs of what the zoo has to give us. So we'll have to see how the tidiness is coped with now that we have more janitors in a new squeaky clean HQ going around. Maybe we need to add in just a ton of them. Uh, let's do squeaky clean HQ 2. Phew. All right, and then we'll have to start fixing up our zoo because apparently we are low on entertainment. We need more restrooms. The guests aren't very happy. And if the guests aren't happy, then we won't have the money we need in order to make this place marvelous. <gasps> Flint, the red kangaroo was born. The breeding program sees success and reminds us why we need to work so hard to take care of the many animals of this zoo. So one down, yay. Uh, and I think a lot more to go. So we will carry on next time, my friends. If you could, do please leave a like for little baby Flint, our brand new baby Joey, who's somewhere in here. I'm so excited to see wherever they are. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.